LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Stage one, present for flight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and lift off. Vehicle is pitching downrange. What a beautiful day for a rocket launch here. As you can see, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off right, from, from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying our stack of 60 Starlink satellites to orbit. Moments ago, we throttled the engines down in preparation for max Q, uh, or the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the rocket Vehicle will see. Supersonic. And in about a minute, we will have three events happening back to back, and that's main engine cutoff, or MECO, stage separation, and second engine start one. So first main engine cutoff, that is where all nine Merlin 1D engines will shut off to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. And this is where the first stage separates from the and second the stage. Chill has begun. While second stage continues on its journey to its third event, which is second engine startup one. Vehicles reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. What a beautiful view of those nine M1D engines burning there on beautiful clear day. And we're coming up on main engine cutoff shortly here in just about 10 seconds. Miko. You can see in that beautiful footage that we did just have Miko, stage separation, and second engine startup one. Those grid fins are coming out on the first stage there on the left. And in just a few seconds, we should have our fairing deploy. <laughs> you heard the call out and you can see on your video there that we have had successful fairing deploy. On the right hand side of your screen, second stage continuing to burn nom nominally, acceleration right down the middle. And you can see uh, the, the glow of the nozzle there. Stage two on nominal trajectory. And uh, first stage on the left-hand side of your screen is headed back to our drone ship named Just Read the Instructions, stationed out in the Atlantic Ocean. Second stage heading on the right-hand side of your screen is headed to its first orbit. Stage two continuing towards its first orbit on the right-hand side of your screen. Left-hand side of your screen, you can see Falcon 9's first stage reorienting itself for its next two activities. That'll be two burns to come back safely to Earth. First of those being signal for the entry burn. The second burn will happen closer to the drone ship. That's the landing burn for a soft touchdown. Nominal orbit insertion. So from here, we do have a coast phase followed up by the second burn of our second stage engine. Now, if you followed along our missions in the past, you'll, you'll know that so stage on two the continues first stage, on nominal trajectory is an indication that the rocket has flown before. 
That's because we use rocket-grade kerosene, or RP-1 as our fuel in Falcon 9. That's a carbon-based propellant. As we burn it, it generates soot. So with the engines down, as we're coming in through the Earth's atmosphere, the soot from the plume comes back up on the first stage and uh, deposits, deposits it along the surface of the vehicle. Now, coming up here is entry burn. Keep an eye out on the left-hand side of your screen. Stage one, FTS is safe. Stage one, entry burn startup. This burn expected to last about 20 seconds. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. And successful shutdown of those three Merlin engines. Now, if we didn't do that entry burn, uh, the first stage would come in very quickly in the atmosphere and the aerodynamic forces are coming up. Stage one landing burn will begin. Shortly after landing Come burn on, ends, on. landing burn startup. We should be in our expected orbit there. So keep an eye out, see if we can get a video feedback for the first stage. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Fantastic. Right down the middle. That's our 85th successful one, recovery. 100th. Uh, 18th successful launch of the Falcon 9. Uh, we did hear the call out there for SECO. Navigation officer will be checking loss of signal. the Cape. parameters. And with that, so once we reach the highest point of the orbit, orbit, we will reignite the second stage for a short burn. And you can follow along the progress of the second stage with this animation showing where we are around the Earth. We'll be back here at T plus 44 minutes and 30 seconds for second engine start number two. See you soon. Welcome back to the live webcast of SpaceX's 29th Starlink, mi Starlink mission. And our second engine startup two is just a few moments away here. S2 burn two complete. <laughs> Good burn. Looks like the video came back just in time for us to see that burn there. Nominal orbit insertion. We'll see you back here at around T plus one hour and two minutes. And welcome back to our broadcast for our 29th Starlink mission. We're awaiting our next major event, which will be payload deployment of the Starlink satellites. Now, over the last coast phase, uh, we've started to spin the second stage a little bit. And that's to help those uh, Starlink satellites space themselves out after payload deployment. Starlink deploy confirmed. So that's confirmation of payload deployment. Shortly, they will deploy their solar array. And then over the next few days and weeks, they'll start to distance themselves out. They've got onboard ion thrusters, and that'll help them make their way into their final operational orbit. Thank you to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for su supporting today's mission. And of course, thank you to all of our viewers and all of our Starlink customers using our beta service at this time. If you're interested in being a part of our beta program, head over to starlink.com and sign up. Hope you enjoyed the webcast today and we'll see you soon.